Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a quick project share and a tutorial on how I created these super cute charms for the pencils. They are absolutely adorable, very inexpensive, and they make great gifts. In fact, I'm making these for my daughter's friends. Um, she's in middle school and um, these are the end of the year gifts. I will be making little notebooks to go along with these pencils, but I really like these pencils. They have um, positive sayings on them. And a plus I like the fact that they're one pre-sharpened and they're white so you can match them with any charm assembly um, so you know they have positive phrases happy thoughts always on point happy day pursue pretty good vibes only um, and then this one says live life today really really cute another option is to just get normal pencils from the Dollar Tree you can spray paint these or you can leave them as is and just try to find a coordinating uh, charm assembly for the top so I want to share with you how they look these are really really cute little fabric tassels I absolutely love them in this beautiful mauve color I also have some rain uh, rainbow some unicorns unicorn charms I got those off of eBay really cute I have a few with the unicorn and then I have some with this gorgeous tassel charm with the um fabric tassel and this one belongs to kyla she loves herself some little pineapples so i found this charm on etsy and i thought it was super adorable it's a little pineapple charm and i gave her the white um the white little tassel this one is using uh, some foam flowers that i had in my stash because i didn't have any more of those and i'm using it along with the little tassel still with the white pencil and this one is using a Hobby Lobby um, flower, a little, uh, the fake flowers with the tassel and a pearl. Super cute. Now, I did not originate the um, idea to do the paper flower tassel. That all came from Louisa is where I found the tutorial. Uh, she is KSP by Louisa. I will link her tutorial for how she makes these charms. She makes them on the sides of planners. I just thought it would be super cool to um, put them on the ends of the pencils. I first saw the pencils at Target and that's when I thought to do these cute little presents or gifts for my daughter's friends. So let me show you uh, the items that I'll be using for the tutorial. So these are the pencils that I was talking about that I got at Target. 12 pencils. They were $1.99. They're called Positive Pencils Number 2 um, by U Brands. If I can find a link, I'll put it down below. But again, they're from Target and you get 8 pre-sharpened Number 2 pencils with the little positive sayings on them. So I absolutely, there was one package there. I grabbed it and I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so adorable and a great way to motivate. So um, you will need some type of flower tassel or some type of tassel or charm whatever it is you're hanging from the top of the pencil now these came from there's a little boutique that sells a lot of little things they come in a pack of three so they come in the white and then they come in the that um, peachy the mauve color that I love so I only have two white ones left um, so that's I want to use these for something else but I may make earrings out of them because they're so cute. But yeah, they come in a pack of three for $2.50. So you may not have that boutique or have that available. So that's why I suggested and did one with the flowers that you can get from Hobby Lobby. Catch them on sale and just get a, tiny, a bunch of these tiny little flowers and go to town. Another option is to use like your paper flowers if you want. Um, but I chose these foam flowers with the little... Um, tool on them because they may last longer than the paper paper can get wet these foam you know they can get wet but they won't destroy the flower so um, I'm going to show you how to put one together with the foam flower um, for this pencil and then also just showing you how to do it with the regular Hobby Lobby flowers because those may be more available to people this is how I packaged it up and I'm also going to show you how to make this super cute and easy pencil box this is how I packaged it up and I've used these little hearts that came from the Target Bullseye Table Scatter and they were $3. These make cute embellishments um, but also I just used a marker, um, my metallic uh, color pen. I got these off of Amazon. I'm trying to find the whole box. Here it is. 
I got these off of Amazon. I love them. They are very um, liquidy here. You know, you can get a, they're juicy. So anyway, I'm using the gold one. And I was just personalizing it by putting her, you know, one of her friends, Ellen. She has seven that she's going to give away and then one is going to go to her. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little personalization. I wrote her name on here and then created this cute little pencil box. And I'm going to show you how to make that. And then it fits the pencil perfectly. This pencil says make today beautiful. And then hers is this particular one. So, um, yeah, that's super cute. So you will need some basic tools. Now, I know you charm heads are going to look at me like, Tamika, you're doing that all wrong. Oh, my gosh. Look, I'm not a charmer. Okay, well, I can be a charmer, but I'm not a person that makes charm bracelets and do all that stuff because my fingers are fumbling. You will see here shortly why I always say that I just they don't work well together with my hands. So I'm using the tools that I have now. They may or may not be right, but that's what I'm going to use. These are what I'm going to use what I have on hand. This is I don't even know what these are. This is a flat. This is what I use to cut my wire. And this is a pointier. <laughs> Here we go. I have pointy, cutter, and flat. Okay. Then I'm using uh, this last little piece. Like I'm running to the end of everything. This is the spare parts uh, gold tassel charms. They were on clearance at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. So I'm going to use that. And then I have my um, these eye pins. They have the little loop. And then we'll need some. Try not to make these all fall out some jump rings and then I also have the flat eye pins that don't have a loop so you'll be able to see what you need what you have what you don't have and what you can substitute and then I have my little um, bowl of pearls this came from the Dollar Tree keep my little pearls in here so that we could um... <laughs> you might want to close the pearl jar before you move it there we go. Um, and you'll need this little something sharp to poke through your eraser. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with making this last little pencil. So I'm going to make this one with the peach. But I'm going to first show you what I did with the paper flower, which I think most of you guys will be using. Because not everyone has foam flowers. Okay, I'm going to take a flat head pen. And then I'm going to take a pearl. You'll need something to stop um, this from going all the way through this flower. This will this will fit. There's a little opening in here, and it'll fit right through, but it'll also pull right on through. So you'll need a little something. Try to find the tiniest one. Nobody's gonna see it underneath. So pull that through. I didn't want all this extra at the top. I just wanted to add beads. So I literally just cut that off. And then I took off this um, top little plastic nozzle piece. I like that a lot better. And then I was able to take off this little leaf when you cut that down. So now that that's cut down, I'm going to add my little bead on top. And then I'm going to use these to kind of create a loop that's my loop I don't know if you can see it or not but I have a little loop that keeps the beads in there that keeps everything safe safe and sound okay it's not the best loop but you already heard my disclaimer and then I'm going to take some um, jump rings and I'm going to add one of the jump rings to that loop. I like the little charms to be dangly and free flowing. So I add a jump ring to every component. Okay. And then we're going to take the last little gold tassel charm. Actually, we're not going to use it on this. I was just showing you how to do that. So I'm going to actually make another peach one. But since we're here. We'll take the gold tassel charm and add a jump ring to it. Leave that there. So that's it for how you apply, you know, how you make this a dangle. But we're going to do the same thing with this peach one because this peach flower 
because that's what I want to use on the last white pencil. So I'm going to take off the stem and I'm going to get another flat head. So I'm grabbing another little pearl. I know you can't see it. Grab another little pearl. I'm going to feed it through the middle and push it all the way through the top. Ends up looking like a little bud in there. Just a little rosebud, which is fine. We'll keep it. And I'm going to add a tiny little pearl. I'm glad that these pearls are in, coming in handy. They actually came from embellishment swap or a swap that I did with somebody. Can't remember. I'm getting old. So I'm put this little pearl right on top, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing, cutting off the extra and making a little loop. Actually, I can cut out a little bit more. You just need enough to make a little loop going down, just like that. Oh, goodness grief. I feel the arthritis, carpal tunnel, whatever. All right, so that's my loop. I'm going to take my pen, I mean, not my pen, my, what are these? Jump rings. And feed it through that loop and close it up. Take one more jump ring and connect this with this tassel and an eye pen. If I can just grab one eye pen, put that on there just like so, and then I'm going to close everything together. go over it with these little flat things here okay here we have this cute little dangly it's so cute so I'm gonna close this up before I spill it again so what we need to do now is just take I'm gonna use this pointy piece here use any kind of poker and I'm gonna guide it through to make a hole in my pencil right in the middle of the eraser. Okay, I'm gonna grab my eye pin and hold it with these. And then I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Just the length of the pencil eraser. Make sure it gets down in there real good. Cut a little bit more off. The magic is the Super Bond nail glue. It works really fast. And they are they are in there. So I'm gonna put a drop here. Make sure not to get this on your area because it will cause a problem. So I'm just putting the drop, then I put my pen through the inside. Make sure that you know it gets in there really, really well. And where did my pencil go? There it is. I'm going to put this right in that hole just like so and push it through all the way to the end. And voila. I'm going to let that sit. It really only takes a minute, but I want to show you how sturdy these things are. You see that? You hear that? I'm holding it. Not coming out. They stay. So dab a nail glue will do you. All right, and then of course, if you wanted to do this one, you would just fill that in with that piece. But I wanted to keep it, you know, light since I'm making all the boxes the same. So we'll put that to the side, and then I'm going to clean all this off. I'm going to come back and quickly make this box. All right, you need a piece of cardstock. I'm using 110 pound weight cardstock, and this is going to be cut at four and a half by ten and a quarter. Now you want to pull out your scoreboard and on the four and a half inch side you want to score at one inch two inch 
three inch and four inch. You should have a half an inch left over. All right. You want to turn it 90 degrees and score at one inch and then flip it to the opposite side, score at a half inch, one and a half inches. All right. Now what you want to do before you start folding over all of your, um, your score marks is you want to do the following. So just the one side where there's the one score mark and you're going to cut at the score mark to meet the opposite score mark. So you just cut right a slit right directly on the score mark until you get to the uh, cross. So you should have five little flaps like this when you get done. So now you can give those a good press. We flip over to the opposite side, do the same thing. Follow that all the way along through both of those score marks till you reach the top, the top score, score mark. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do with the following. There's this tiny on the left, the tiny, the half inch mark, and then you have the four. Okay. So we're going to do it like so. This first piece, there's two, and turn it this way. We're gonna cut that whole little section off. So you took out the first one. Now moving to the second one, we're cutting off this last half inch piece, and then we're going to add slivers to both of the edges. Just a little sliver to kind of miter angle that down. So that's your second piece. The third piece, we're only going to miter the bottom half, where that second score mark, the first score mark is. So you have a whole piece right there. The fourth piece, we're going to cut the bottom half off and sliver it, just like we did the one before, on both sides. Okay, and then this final piece, we're going to cut the whole thing off on that half inch side. So that's what yours should look like. Just like that. So now you want to fold over everything and give it a good press and even this little piece right here. All right, now we can fold over all of the score marks and give it a good press. So that's how we're going to have it. On the back side, the good side of the paper, on the half inch portion, you want to add some tape just before you get to the score mark. So we're not going to add tape to that. So we're going to connect the two ends together, just like so. to form a box. Okay. These pieces at the bottom, four equal pieces, fold those in. There's one piece that has that little flap on. Feel free to take that off if you want. You don't have to, it's gonna be folded in, but that just folds all in and adds some hot glue to this end. Then that part down there is sealed. Now you have this up here and all you have to do Fold those ends, ends in, and tuck that top piece in. I added some of this um, glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree that came out during the Christmas time because I thought it was super cute and you can use it for anything. And then I just added a little piece of ATG tape, making sure I'm on the right side of where the box comes out. And I just added that to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little heart and add my gold pencil to one of her friends. And then what I did with the little um, fish tails is I just used 
a scrap sheet of paper and then cut some strips or a strip cut it in half and then I just split them down the middle and then I'll do the same thing for this one add some hot glue to the two pieces and then add the name there add some hot glue to the back of that and place it on top of my box and there you have it these are the little a cute little pencil boxes that I will be giving to Kyla so she can give to her friends and like I said I'm gonna probably make a little notebook um, to go along with all of these cute little pencils so hopefully you guys will um, try these at home and just look for some tassels or some charms. You can do an online search. Um, like I said, these came from a boutique. You can go to Hobby Lobby, use the flowers. I mean, for five under $5, you can get a bunch of like 20 of these little um, flower heads and make your own little charm assemblies. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.